Hi, welcome to Moments with Marilyn. I'm your host, Marilyn Boyer, the mom of 14 homeschool kids who love the Lord and love each other. I absolutely love young moms, and it's my passion to provide you with tips and tools to make your journey easier. Thanks for joining us today. This is kind of a special edition. Um, it's been 10 years since we wrote the book, Character Trails. So I thought it might be fun for us to let you meet the kids that were featured in Character Trails and hear a little bit about what they've been doing the last 10 years. Yes, it's been 10 years. So before we get started, let me remind you that you can access our podcasts on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or multiple other platforms. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to tell you what Character Trails is. It's the second in a series of, we call it, Cousins books. And these are five of the cousins that are featured in this book. Now, in Character Trails, it's written for kids, say, age six through nine, approximately. And in the book, they will learn 12 different character qualities and how to implement that in their lives. Let me just give you an example. Compassion. It gives the kids a simple definition. Compassion is being willing to expend effort to help alleviate the suffering of those in need. And it gives the kids a Bible verse. Then we give them a story from the Bible about David and Mephibosheth, how he showed compassion to Jonathan's son, Mephibosheth. Just a short story kids can relate to. Then it shows a story from history. We use Florence Nightingale and how she showed compassion to the sick. And then we have a story from everyday life, and this is where the kids come in. And this we have a story about Anne, whose little brother Patrick was sick, and how she showed compassion to read him stories and help entertain him while he was sick in bed. Then at the end of each one of the 12 sections, we've got questions. For example, I'm going to read you a few so you've got a feel for what it's like. One, your friend was trying to help you get the cap off your water bottle. He twisted a little too hard and water went flying all over the kitchen. How can you demonstrate compassion? Or two, your little sister has to go to the doctor for shots. She's scared and crying. What might you do to show her compassion? Or your friend's grandfather just went to heaven. What are some ways that you could show compassion to him? Then there's practical projects for each one to help your kids. You know, it's more than just learning information or learning what the character quality means. You have to take your kids by the hand and help them do it in real life. Number one, help your child make a card for someone who's sick. It's simple things, but it's helping them put that into practice. Find a mom who just had a baby. Invite her children over for the day and plan a special day for them. Look for opportunities to show compassion, like a brother who skinned his knee, a friend whose mom miscarried, or a neighbor whose spouse just died. Okay, so in this book, it covers the character qualities of attentiveness, availability, boldness, compassion, courage, decisiveness, endurance, flexibility, generosity, joyfulness, orderliness, and thoroughness, things that we all need to learn to employ in our lives. Okay, so guys, would you just let uh, let the people know your name? Adam, Luke, Melody, Cassidy, Ann. And you will find all of those kids in this book. Lauren was in it too, but she's not with us today. Okay, so to get started, could you guys just tell us a little bit about what you've been doing the last 10 years? You've grown up a whole lot. What kind of things are you doing in your life the last 10 years? Cass, do you want to start? Okay. So um, I guess the biggest things would be I've gone to lots of conventions in that time. Um, and what we do at conventions is just basically we set up our booth and we sell our products and we get to talk to people and we meet a lot of the little buddies and stuff and that's really cool. So we get to see new places. Um, and we have, let's see, I have done, I've gone through high school and I'm in my senior year now and I just got my driver's license this year. I got a summer job. <laughs> so stuff like that. Your summer job my summer job was working at a local ice cream place, and it's like a drive through and a walk-up place, so it's, it, it like keeps you on your toes, but it's really fun. <laughs> and she makes the best ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's basically it. And then, um, I don't know, just we've been, um, 
we've gone to several states like with conventions i've seen lots of new places i've flown on a plane for the first time this summer so fun stuff like that we went to colorado to denver for a convention and we got to fly um and we got to see pike's peak and everything so that was really cool <laughs> okay now um well I've been really involved in politics, like knocking on doors and working at the polls and making calls. Um, And I'm in the first year of high school. And it's kind of hard to think of what I've been doing for the last 10 years. I started playing several instruments, which was fun. I've been playing piano for about four years. And then violin I started maybe two years ago. And I started flute this year. So, yeah. I didn't know that. Tell about Paul, what you do with him. Oh, yeah. I teach my little brother, Paul, and his, the youngest one, Daniel. And um, Paul really likes math, which is weird because (laughs) (laughs) no one in our family likes math. But he's, um, he just turned six, and he's doing third grade math, so he's very proud of himself. Well, there's been a lot of babysitting. I have six (laughs) siblings. Um, Like Mel, I have been getting more involved in the political realm, knocking doors, making calls, things like that. (laughs) Um, I play piano. I do a lot of that. Uh, Let's see what else. I like to write. Is there anything else? Oh, yes. I like to bake. I bake all the time. (laughs) She's great at that, too. Luke. Um, Well, I've had what? Why don't you tell about what you and I and Adam and Granddad did? So, 2019. Yeah. So, for the 74th anniversary of the sinking of the USS Indianapolis, um, Nana and Granddad and me and Adam drove up to Indiana for the survivors reunion. Um, they had it was I think a three day event where the survivors got a chance to speak. You got a chance to meet them. There was a small gift shop and also the USS Indianapolis Memorial. Um, and it was it was just it was a great piece of kind of being able to see living history. Um, the one thing though when we went. 2019, there was 13 of the original survivors of that. There were 13 veterans left. Now there's, I think, four. Yeah. And it's, so that's, that's, that's one tragic thing, obviously, is that they, as time goes on, we have less and less of those people to look to. So I would encourage y'all, one thing that Nana and Granddad have been really good at is taking us to meet those people, meet World War II and Vietnam veterans. Um, but yeah, that was that was a really fun experience. Um, as for what else I've been doing the past ten years, not much of anything. <laughs> um, I'm in my junior year of high school, so like a year and a half left. I'm working on getting my driver's license. Hopefully next month, sometime. He says not much of anything. Tell them how many calls you made for Bob Good. I don't. I don't remember. Over what two thousand or something. Um, but yeah, <laughs> congressional, That's I worked on a congressional campaign, um, which was fun, and I've also, I volunteered for other campaigns throughout the years, um, but we're not, we're not going to talk about, we're not going to talk about that, we're not going to talk, we're not going to talk about that, um, but yeah, uh, political involvement for me is something I've done since I was around five, and it's just something I really enjoy really enjoy doing um well i'm ever thinking of a way to um plug character concept stuff so i'm going to do it here and say um we're going to touch a little bit more on the politics stuff later and if you want to hear more about that refer to the podcast of last week and two weeks ago that is nana interviewing uncle rick who oldest son who lets y'all know how she can um how you can get your family involved in the political arena which is actually perfect because that leads me into um, my thing. I was filming that podcast, so I know all about it. <laughs> uh, past 10 years, well, not for the 10 years, but 
as of a couple years ago, I started doing all the, or most of the filming and editing both video and audios for Nana and Granddad. Um, they're the best employer, I'll say that. The hours are nice, the pay is good. <laughs> <laughs> Room and board. No, I'm joking. Um, last 10 years. Um, as long as we're touching on school grades, much to Cassidy's chagrin, I am also in 12th grade. Um, I'm going uh, about half a month from now, a few weeks, to the DMV to test for my learner's permit. I just finished driver's ed this summer, so hoping I can start um, catching up to Luke and Cassidy in that respect. Um, or regard, that is. <laughs> um, past 10 years, school has taken up much of my time. Um, Tell the people about the project all you guys did for Legacies of Character. Oh, yes, yes. Legacies of Character. That came out. That was 2019. That was two years ago already. Years, yeah. Good grief. Um, yes, Legacies of Character. If y'all have not read it yet, you should. If I do say so myself, the writing is stellar. Um, it was, <laughs> it was yes, it was me, uh, Luke, Mel, Cass, Anne, Lauren, and then we had a friend, um, Mary Ellis. Yeah, she helped us out, wrote a story in that as well. And um, we, we each wrote... At a minimum of one, but most of us wrote two stories from history. And it's called Legacies of Character, True Stories of World War II, right? Yeah. Um, and it's about all these historical figures that led just amazing lives, had great testimonies, and we got to research them ourselves and find out about them and then write about it. And um, the Indianapolis reunion was actually one of the things we did for that, although we didn't know it at the time it was for that. <laughs> um, yeah, and we got to meet the guy I ended up writing about, Ed Harrell. He actually um, passed away uh, earlier this year, right? Months ago. Yeah. It was just a couple months ago, yeah. But um, he is amazing and a great testimony. And um, yeah, the book, all in all, was really fun to write about. Um, let's see, I wrote about Franz Steigler, I think, and Ed Harrell. Who did you write about? Uh, George Rogers and Ted Lawson. Mel, what did you write about? Chester Nez and Irina Sendler. I wrote about Corey Tin Boom. I wrote about Judy the dog and Mitsuo <laughs> Fushida. Judy was the best story in the book. Judy was a great story. Dog really had a big part. Yes, we do like that. Okay, um, just tell us a little bit about what some of your hobbies are. You've kind of done that a little bit, touched on it, but just tell us what a few of the things you like to do. I love to bake, like I said. Um, I dabble in sewing, <laughs> um, politics, um, uh, writing. Um, a lot of things, as long as they aren't math. <laughs> um, I would agree, I don't like math either, but. Um, so I do photography, and I'm trying to grow in that, um, and I'm hoping to be self-employed eventually and have my own business, so um, I kind of dabble in that a little bit. And then, other than that, I love to ride horses, so um, at the, the farm where Granddad records um, all of his audios, that's where we keep our horses, and so we will, we'll, we'll ride those sometimes, and that, that's really fun. So that's one of my favorite things to do. And other than that, um, I like to bake a lot as well, but I don't end up doing it. Cass likes to come and cook for me sometimes, <laughs> which I'm very happy she does. Yes, I, I like to cook, and my mom likes to cook, so she normally cooks at our house, so I'll come here and cook for Nana. <laughs> well, my hobbies and interests include music, and teaching and being involved in politics kind of I like some aspects of it a lot and some of them are not so good <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of like a blessing and a curse at the same time <laughs> Mel tell some of the fun the ways that you make homeschooling fun for Paul and Daniel well um 
I let them choose a lot of the stuff that they want to learn. Um, like, I make them learn, of course, the basic stuff, like reading. And Paul does not like reading. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I let them choose, like, if, if Paul doesn't really want to focus on reading a lot and he just wants to learn it but not go extra, then that's fine, and he can do a lot of math if he wants. And then he gets to earn prizes a lot. <laughs> He likes, um, he's kind of a social butterfly, so he'll, he likes to earn, like, going out to lunch with mom or dad or something. Really awkward. That only sounded less like rewards <laughs> and more like bribery. <laughs> Luke. Um, hobbies. Also pretty boring. <laughs> um, I like, I like football to play, playing and watching it. Um, our hometown team is the Liberty Flames, and that's where both my parents went to college, so I'm a big fan. Um, I like to hunt. I mostly hunt squirrels, but I also hunt deer on occasion. Um, I enjoy most aspects of politics. Some th- There are some that I don't. Um, and, I mean, I also like to fish. I like a lot of outdoorsy stuff. Um, 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 hobbies. Well, continuing the trend, politics. I'm trying to get more and more involved with that. Um, first time I was extensively involved in a campaign would be last year when we ran Bob Good for Congress. Um, other than that, I haven't been too involved. Um, but I am getting more involved as I have the opportunity. Um, yeah, me, I, I can't speak. I like Luke. Um, do enjoy hunting, although I don't do it nearly as often as I'd wager he does. Um, let me think. Yeah, I do like playing football sometimes with James in the backyard if I'm not too um, tired running around in the heat because he's... Adam, tell about some of what you do every day, like you live on a like a mini farm. Well, I didn't think that was that interesting, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, we live on a small farm. It's just under 30 acres. Little, uh, it's not even a town. I think it's called an unincorporated community or something like that. Gladys, which is uh, just south of here, I think. Um, we're here in Rustburg right now. But yeah, we're in, um, me and Cass, we live in Gladys, small farm. Um, we got cows, dog, stupid dog, I might add. (laughs) Uh, too many cats to count. Uh, chickens, yes. Guineas. We did have hogs, but not right now. I think that's about it. Um, Cass and Lainey, and to an extent, Mama Ben, um, I've been working on Daddy to get them a horse for years, and so that could be in the making once we get up the money and the, um, if we, uh, this current drought could end and we'd actually get some grass down at our place. Um... But yeah, that's about it. I used to do, since we're talking about last 10 years, used to do Legos a lot. I don't do it very much anymore because I don't really have the room. I have so many now. I don't really have the room to use, to do anymore. And I'm always just busy with other stuff. But that's about it for hobbies. Okay, the next question, I'm going to ask these guys some of their favorite Character Concepts products. And for the month of November, Character Trails is going to be on sale. So... You know, check out our website. It's going to be on sale. And during the month of November for our sales that we do every week, I'm going to offer specials on some of these guys' favorite products. Okay, so we'll start with Anne. Um, well, I love all the Cousins books. Those are fun. Um, <laughs> I like Boys of Liberty. Let's see. Um, and tell us the names of the cousins. Okay. Uh, let me see. <laughs> so the first one is Crossroads of Character, then you've got Character Trails, then Character in Action, and Legacies of Character. Did I get them all? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. um, my all time favorite Uncle Rick, um, well, it's a specifically an Uncle Rick audio. It would be, I don't know, I have two that I debate between. Either The Boys of Liberty, which would be volume two. Um, like I listened to all of those stories so many times or the, um, 
Frank Webster's adventure set, which has like five, I think five different stories. Um, one of like my most prominent memories of being a little, little kid is listening to Jack of the Pony Express and Cowboy Dave. Those were me and Adam's favorites. And then once I got older, I started to branch out and listen to the other ones and enjoyed them a lot too. Like Airship Andy. I loved that one. Um, and then, um, Psalms and Proverbs. I love that because I would listen to them when I went to sleep and I'd always listen to this, a certain part on disc two. I could tell you it was disc two of the album. Um, and I would always listen for one part before I would let myself fall asleep. So, um, even now, like when I will, will read Psalms or Proverbs, I will like have certain parts memorized just because of listening to granddad so many years. (laughs) Well, I really like the history books, um, The Fight for Freedom and America's Struggle for Independence. Um, I read one of those books for my third, for third grade, and that was the best year of history ever. I used to hate history because uh, mom got kind of boring history books, <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and I didn't like it because it was a lot of geography, too, and I like geography, but I like it more if it's not just this place is here, but it's this happened here. And that was that was really fun reading that book. And then um, I also like Dave Dawson. The Dave Dawson series is really good. And um, like Cass, I remember sitting on the bottom stair of our steps, of our steps going to the main floor in our old house with m- me and Luke and the CD player would be in between us and we'd just sit there listening to mostly Airship Andy, like every <laughs> single time. <laughs> so that's, Airship Andy is the one of my favorites too. Okay, um, favorite product, hands down, is an Uncle Rick audio, Grey Goes to the Confederacy. It's a biography of John Mosby. Um, let's see. I love the Frank Webster adventure set, and I was hoping Cass would list all the audios. I was going to test her and see if she can remember. In it, you'll find, I think it's five great audios. Let's see. It's Boy Pilot, Boy Pilot of the Lakes, Jack of the Pony Express, Airship Bandy, Cowboy Dave. Boy from the Ranch. Boy from the Ranch. There we go. Yes. Huh? I said Boy Pilot from the Lakes. Yeah. Um, so I love that. I love all the character with the cousins books. I still now saying the character trails is six years to nine years old. I don't buy that. <laughs> I still go back and read them sometime just for fun. Um, uh, I yes, I love both the audiobook and the novel, The Runt, by Rick Boyer himself, <laughs> granddad, Uncle Rick. It's his first and only novel. Although we've all been begging him to start writing another one, he's got a Big old idea laid out for. Hopefully that's coming soon to character concepts. Maybe not, but hopefully. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, The Runt, it's a story. Um, Nana could give it a little description. I don't want to go into that because I'll probably end up giving a bad description of it. Um, <laughs> but um, Granddad also recorded it as audiobook, and it's the most interesting story. It's fictional, but it teaches you. Um, I think it's the kind of uh, subtitle of it is God has a different view of what it means to be a champion. And it's a really good book about Kit Carson Hunt and his uh, mongrel pup Runt. And it's just a really good story. The The writing and the plot were all exquisite. And I've told Granddad that many times. And we've all been saying what we've all been asking for is a sequel to the Runt. So we're hoping. Comment for a sequel. Yes, comment for a sequel. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, what else? Uh, I love, I absolutely love Fight for Freedom and America's Struggle to Become a Nation. I read those so many times, and I didn't even know they had them for, like, the first five years they were in print. Um, but I don't remember how I found them one day, but I read them, and I reread them, and then, I've only read through them a couple times. I have done them, and then I'll often just jump to random chapters and just read them, because they're all, usually each character has one or two chapters devoted to them, that person from history. Um, I'd highly recommend them. And uh, Uncle Rick audios-wise, I really like the story of Squanto. That was a good one. And, uh, man, there's so many good ones. Um, 
yeah, all, all the Uncle Rick audios. Proverb is really good. And I think that's about it. Favorite character concepts products. Yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, and let me just say, um, I told these guys years ago, the reason we do these books is to help other kids learn how to put character into practice. That is not to say that we've got a market on it, that we've got character, you know, that we've got perfect character. We don't. We learn from it. And I would just like to say, when we wrote this, Luke, do you mind if I tell the beginning and you can finish it? Like, this was like 10 years ago, we wrote this book, and Luke was the featured person in Thoroughness. And he called me up one day, and he said, Nana, I want to tell you that your book, Character Trails, helped me. And can you tell us how? Um, um, I, I actually, so, to, full disclosure, I don't remember this. It's, Nana's told me about it, but I actually don't remember it. Um, but according to legend, <laughs> I uh, called Nana and told her that I was, had been told to clean my room. And, and um, I had, I had try, tried to get away with like pushing stuff under the bed or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I remember the story and went back and cleaned it up right. Um, nowadays, I just don't clean it at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's, the, that's how the story goes. And that's why we wrote it. You know, we wrote it to give the kids a positive example of how to put character in practice. And then we give a story from history, a story from the Bible. Um, you know, all of our character products are helped, helping you to train your kids in character. And that's why we do it. Helping your kids to make wise decisions in everyday life. Okay, we're about to wrap up this program, prom, podcast. Is there anything else that any of you guys would like to say? Add to it? No? Okay. We thank you so much for joining us today. And as you said, if you want to learn more about how to get involved in the political arena, check out the last two weeks. Um, my son Rick gives you lots of practical tips on how to get involved. So, yes, Character Trails will be on sale all month. And you watch off our emails. If you're not signed up for our emails or our podcast, please do that because we give freebies every month. We give lots of practical helps for you. And we will offer lots of sales on these guys' favorite products. So thanks for joining us today. Have a great week.